Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to the next installment of the Baby Educational Ball Tutorial Series. Okay, so this is the sixth panel in our series. It is this part seven of the tutorial series since the first part was for the panel itself. Okay, so for this tutorial, we are going to need one of your panels that's already completed and then we're going to do uh, we're going to be doing the sheep and so in the pattern she uses a brown for the uh, main color or not the main color but the face and the ears of the sheep I don't have enough of the brown of that shade of brown my brown's too dark so I'm going to be using gray instead okay and then of course I'm going to need white for the other part of the sheep and you're going to need a little bit of black to use to sew on the um, facial features okay uh, you're going to be needing now this yarn is the same weight yarn that you've been using for your whole project I'm using a three weight yarn in my project you want to use the same hook size that you've been using for your whole project this is I'm using a 3.0 millimeter hook okay uh, you're going to need a stitch marker and of course scissors and a yarn needle to weave in your ends okay and oh and also just a little bit you may want just a little bit of stuffing to make your sheep the head uh, more three-dimensional okay and let's see I think that is it uh, you may want some pins to uh, help pin your piece down while you're sewing it if you need that um, okay I think that's it <laughs> okay so going on to we're going to start working on the head so you want to get your uh, whatever color you're going to be using that's not the white color okay just for the ears and the face um, so we're going to take that and we're going to start with a magic ring and if you want to chain two and then work in the second chain from the hook feel free to do that Okay, and so in this magic ring or in that second chain from the hook, you're going to do uh, six single crochets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay pull on that beginning tail to uh, close up your circle if you're doing a magic ring okay and now we're not going to join rounds we're just going to go in spiral work in spirals so that is the end of round one and you should have six single crochets in that round round two going on to round two we're just going to uh, continue on in an, and we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around and so at the end of round two we'll have we will have 12 single crochets around okay so you go right into that first uh, stitch from uh, round one and do two single crochets in that one stitch okay and then if you want to go ahead and start using your marker or just count for this first round go ahead if you want to use your marker put your marker in the first of those two stitches that you just made to mark your first round okay and then just do two single crochets in each stitch around until you get back to where your marker is okay so I'm gonna do that and I will meet you up when I get back to my marker okay so I just finished round two I did two single crochets in each stitch around so now I have a stitch count of 12 stitches all the way around my circle going on to round three I'm gonna take my marker out so then I can move it on round three we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around so in the first stitch we're going to do two single crochets one and two in the same stitch whoops <laughs> okay in the same stitch and then I'm gonna put my marker in the first of those two stitches so that way that'll mark my first stitch on the round Now in the next stitch I'm gonna do one single crochet in that stitch and that's our sequence for this round so two single crochets in the next stitch one 
and two. And then one single crochet in the next stitch, okay? And so repeat that all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I just finished round three, getting back to the marker, and now at the end of round three, we should have 18 stitches for our stitch count around our circle, okay? So I'm now gonna remove my marker. And now I'm gonna go on to round four, and in round four, we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around, so we'll still have 18 stitches around our circle, okay? So we do one single crochet in the first stitch and go ahead and put the marker back in. Oops. Okay, and then we're gonna just do one stitch in each single crochet. We're gonna do one single crochet all the way around and we'll still have 18 stitches around. So I will meet you when I get back to my marker. Okay, I'm at the end of round four and I still have 18 stitches all the way around my circle. So removing my marker, I'm going on to round five. In round five, we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches, okay? So in the first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, so one and two, and then I'm gonna put my marker into the first of those two stitches to mark my round. Okay, and then now I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, okay? And now we're gonna repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the first stitch of the sequence, so one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five. And we're gonna repeat that until we get back to the marker. So I will meet you at the marker. Okay, so I have just got to the end of round five, and I now have 21 stitches all the way around my circle, okay? Going on to round six, I'm gonna take out my marker. On round six, it says, we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet in the first stitch and put our, go ahead and place our marker in that stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna do two single crochets. So one and two, okay? And then now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And then we're gonna do that again. One single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then now we're going to do one single crochet in each of next six stitches, and that will get us all the way back to the beginning of the round. So one single crochet in the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now that is the end of round six. And at the end of round six, we should have 24 stitches around our circle. Okay, now going on to round seven, all we're going to do now is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we will still have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Okay, so let's do that. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then put our marker in that stitch to mark the first of our round. And then we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I just got to the end of round seven. I still have 24 stitches around my circle here. Um, and so 
that also means that that is the end of the of using the gray yarn for the face we're now going to or whatever color you're using for the face we're now going to change to our white yarn and put our little bobble some bobble stitches all the way around and that will give us the um, make it look like a sheep I mean make it look fluffy you know like the wool <laughs> so let's go ahead and fasten off the gray and get our or the face color and then get our white yarn and get ready to uh, add that on okay okay so I just finished off my yarn and went ahead and fastened off I just uh, slip stitched in the next stitch and then uh, pulled up a loop like I'm doing a, like I'm doing a chain and then pull my, pulling my yarn through with my hook and fastening it off okay and so now I'm going to go on to round or the next round which is round eight and that's where we're going to um, start making our bobble stitches which is going to be for the to simulate the fluffy uh, wool on the sheep okay so uh, you can start in any stitch around on this round and I'm going to just insert my hook into a stitch and then draw up a loop or pull up a loop of my white yarn and then chain one to uh, secure it down and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch okay now we're going to do our bobble our bobble stitches okay so we're going to yarn over insert our hook into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and draw draw off two loops go under two loops okay and then just you have two loops on your hook and I want to just leave uh, keep those two loops on your hook and continue on with your stitch so you're gonna yarn over do the same thing insert your hook into that same stitch and then uh, yarn over pull up pull up or right, and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so now you have three stitches on your I mean three loops on your hook still do it again yarn over insert into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go under two stitches two loops okay now you have four stitches or loops on your hook one more time yarn over insert your hook into the stitch yarn over pull through pull up a loop yarn over and then pull off two loops and now you should have five loops on your hook so now you're going to yarn over and then pull through all five of those loops okay and then do a chain one to lock lock that into place okay and the next stitch you're just going to do a single crochet into the next stitch okay now what you can do is use your finger and make sure that you push the little bobble you push it forward okay you want them to go uh, stick out to the right side see okay and now you're going to repeat that around so uh, we're going to we did our single crochet what you're going to have is bobble stitches with a single crochet in between each bobble stitch okay so now we're going to do a bobble stitch so yarn over <laughs> insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull pull up a loop yarn over and pull off two loops okay and then you're going to repeat that until you have five loops remaining on your uh, hook okay pull off two loops see now I have three loops on my hook pull off two loops now I have four loops pull off two loops okay so now I have five loops on my hook yarn over pull through all five and then chain one to lock it into place okay and then single crochet into the next stitch okay and then make sure your your bobble is pushed forward okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around uh, you'll do a bobble stitch and then a single crochet in between okay and you should have 12 bobble stitches and 12 single crochet stitches with for a total of 24 okay so I will continue to do this, uh, do this repeat sequence, and I will meet you up when I get back to the end, bit, back to the beginning of the round. Okay. Okay. So I finished round eight. 
Uh, at the end of round eight, you should end up with a bobble stitch being your last stitch because you started the round with a single crochet. And so we're going to just slip, uh, we're going to just slip stitch into that, uh, the beginning, um, single crochet. Okay. Just slip stitch into it to join the round. Okay. And go ahead and take your finger or uh, uh, the end of your crochet hook if you want to and make sure you poke all the uh, bobble stitches where they will all um, be puffed out uh, toward the right side, okay? Okay, going on to round nine, it says we're going to do one bobble stitch in the gaps of the bobbles the, from the row before, okay? So... We are going to, since we slip stitched into this uh, single crochet, then go ahead and just um, chain up two, one and two, okay? And then going right back into that same stitch, we're going to do a like a partial bobble stitch, I guess, since we've already started it with the chain two. So just yarn over, insert your hook into that same single crochet we joined into, and then draw a loop and then draw off two loops off your hook, okay? And then yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, go under two loops, okay? So now we have three loops on our hook. Do it again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, draw off two loops. Now we have four loops on our hook. One more time, yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over, Draw up a loop, yarn over, and then um, go under two loops, okay? So now we have five loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through all five loops, and then chain one to lock it down, okay? So there is our bobble stitch. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet in the top of the bobble stitch from below, okay? because that's the next stitch. So just do a single crochet in the top of that bobble stitch from the round below and then uh, that will end off that bobble that we just made. Okay, and you can poke it forward. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way around where there's a single crochet, we're going to do a bobble stitch. Where there's a bobble stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so we did a single crochet in the top of that bobble stitch, so now we're gonna do a bobble stitch in that single crochet that was between them. Okay, so I'm gonna be working on that, and then when I get around back to the beginning, I will meet you up there. Okay, so I am got to the end of this round, and since the, the, we started this round with a bobble stitch, we need to end this round with a single crochet, which will be in the top of this remaining bobble stitch right here. Okay, and now we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first bobble stitch that you made on that round to join the round. Just join with a slip stitch, okay? And then, that's it. Now we're going to fasten off, okay? And so make sure that you do uh, leave a long enough tail to be able to sew your uh, sheep to the panel, okay? So just like wrap it around your circle here loosely. To know, that way you'll know you have enough yarn. And since we joined with a slip stitch, all we need to do is just pull our yarn through there to fasten it off. Okay, now I'm going to go back and use my finger and just make sure that I've got this second row of bobble stitches with the bobbles all pointing out, you know, puffed out <laughs> to the right side of my work. Like I said, you can always use a the end of your crochet hook or your finger or your thumb, whatever you want to push the bobbles forward. Make sure they're all pushed forward, okay? Okay, so there is our sheep. Uh, and going on to the next part of the pattern, we go, we need to make the ears, okay? So going back to the the yarn that you used for your face, 
I'm going to um, start with a magic ring. And of course, you can chain two and work in the second chain from the hook if you prefer to do that. So I'm going to make a magic ring though, and then just do a. Uh, we're going to do six single crochets into that ring. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and now we're going to pull the beginning tail to um, close up that ring. Okay, so that is the first round, and at the end of this round, we'll just we will have just the six single crochets in the round. Okay, going on to the next round, we're not going to join. We're just going to work in spirals. We're going to do two single crochets into each stitch around. Okay. Oops, split my yarn there. Let me try that again. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch around one and two into the first stitch. Okay, and then you can go ahead and use your marker if you don't want to just count your stitches around. Put your marker in the first of those two single crochets that we just made. And then do two single crochets in each stitch around. I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I just finished round two, and at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets, uh, stitches all the way around your circle, okay? So now I'm going to remove my marker, and we're going on to round three, and this will be the end of the, um, the pattern for the ear. Okay, so for round three, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then we will repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two. We place our marker in the first of those two stitches to mark the first of our round. And then so we did two single crochets in the first stitch and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then we repeat that two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch okay and then repeat that around and I will meet you back when I get to back to the marker okay so now I am back to the, back to the marker that is the end of round three and at the end of round three you should have 18 stitches all the way around your circle and that is the last round for our ear. So now we're just going to fasten off. So I'm going to take my marker out, slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, make sure you leave yourself a tail because that way it, you will use that to sew the ear onto your sheep's head. <laughs> so make sure you use uh, leave a pretty good tail to sew that on and then since we did a slip stitch all you have to do is pull the uh, pull the yarn through with your hook and then tighten that down now with this one you do want to go ahead and weave in this beginning tail because that will be the back of your ear and it would be visible so you just yarn up your needle and secure that beginning tail down with a few stitches, okay. And then I'm going to cut it short to hide the tail. Okay, so there is our first ear. Now go ahead and uh, pause the video and repeat this again for the second ear and then I will meet you up when you get your um, that completed, okay? Okay, so now we have the the uh, head of our sheep done and we also have both of the ears completed. And so now let's go ahead and take our black yarn. I'm going to take this piece of paper here and put it here so then you can see my stitches better since I'm using a black yarn. And just cut a good length of yarn off that you can use to stitch on your face. Okay? 
So, using your yarn needle, thread up your yarn, okay? And then uh, I'm just referring to the picture in the pattern as far as where to put the um, facial features. Um, I'm going to start, I think, with the mouth and work my way up. So the mouth is done between rows two and three from the beginning. Okay, so here, this is row, I mean, not row, round. <laughs> this is round one, the center, the central where the magic circle was. Okay, so that's round one, two, and three. So between rounds two and three, right here, we're going to put our uh, mouth. Okay, coming from below. Okay, and I'm just going to follow that stitch line between rows two and three to create my mouth, okay? Just doing a uh, back stitch, I think they call that. <laughs> following that stitch line around. Okay, just like that. And then right in the center of that mouth is where I'm going to uh, make a stitch going up to start forming where the nose, where the lip, the split lip and the nose is going to be. Following the same technique. Okay, the looking at the picture looks like the beginning of the nose starts right between rounds one and two on the top so about right there okay so that's how as high up as I want to put that that vertical line and then we're just going to make a V a V coming off of this stitch on either side making a V shape for our nose Oops. okay and then going back to that central stitch there for one side of the nose and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side of the nose back to that central stitch okay okay so there's the nose section or nose part <laughs> okay and now for the eyes you can just um, space them out on either side of where the nose is like I said just kind of refer to the picture um, as far as where to put it and I'm just gonna make a few stitches there for the eye I think I'm gonna do one more on the other side there Oops, just unstitched what I stitched. <laughs> Let's tie that one again. Okay. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to stitch my other eye on there kind of even from where this one was, the where I stitched that one in, and I will meet you up when I get that one finished. Okay, so I got my second eye um, stitched on, and then I just turned it around to the back side and tied my tails together in a knot, okay? And then I'm just gonna use that, the rest of the tails as part of my stuffing for when I stuff it, okay? I'm gonna take this off.
I'm done with the black yarn. Bring my panel forward and then cent center it onto um, your panel, okay? Go ahead and yarn your needle with the white yarn and start stitching it down on the center of your panel, okay? And just stitch it in and out um, around stitching it onto your piece okay and then once you get it st almost stitched to the top uh, all the way around then we can insert some stuffing so I'm going to just uh, continue to stitch on my piece and then I will meet you up when I get ready to put some stuffing in okay okay so now I'm going to go ahead and add some stuffing in there before I close it up all the way okay and then I'm going to continue stitching my head down okay so I got my face on there my little lamb's head and now I'm going to fasten off the back just by securing the tails Remember, you're not going to see the back, the stitching or anything on the back side because it'll be on the inside of the ball. Okay. And now, I guess I can trim that a little bit shorter. Okay. And now let's go ahead and sew on our ears. Okay, so for the ears, we have the circle here, and I'm going to use where my tail came out as the part that's going to be attached to the head. So all you're going to do is pinch that part of the circle closed to make a shape that looks like that. Okay, so that's what the that's the shape of the ear that you're wanting to look uh, aim aim for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and yarn up my needle. And then I'm going to pinch that circle closed and then I'm just going to put just a few stitches in there just to hold that um, pinch of the circle. Okay, oops, need some more. Okay, like that, okay? Now, I'm going to just go ahead and sew my ears on there. Of course, you can take both ears and decide by placing them on the head where you're wanting them. And you can refer to the picture in the pattern as far as the ear placement. Looks like they are on each side. about like that even across okay so I'm going that's about where I'm going to be um, sewing them okay and just sew them to uh, the bottom part of your head I think I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put it down a little bit lower. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew that on. And I will meet you up when I get both of the ears sewed on, okay? Okay, so there is my little sheep panel. And that concludes today's video of uh, this baby educational ball for this installment. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. And we will 
uh, meet back again soon to make the next panel. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.